As we know, John Jack Coker, a bachelor from South Carolina and the founder of Coker Settlement, received 1,920 acres of land in Bear County for his participation in the Texas Revolution, particularly the Battle of San Jacinto. After John had taken residence on his grant, he sent word to his brother, Joseph Coker, in Alabama, inviting him to come to Texas and to bring his family to help settle the large acreage of land. This invitation was accepted and the long journey began for some 10 families. The trip began in November of 1846 and lasted until June 1847. Joseph Coker's wife, Melinda, died on the trip to Texas. They averaged about 20 miles a day, according to the diary of A.D. Jones, son-in-law of Joseph. He mentions the bad roads on which they travel, seeing many Indians and killing turkeys, deer, and squirrels for food along the way. He wrote about the beautiful and finest land he had ever seen as they came into Texas. In keeping with the family tradition, each Sunday on the trip was a day of rest, a chance to sing hymns and read scripture. When the families arrived, they built homes and planted crops of wheat, oats, corn, and sweet potatoes. They raised cattle and chickens and established dairy farms to provide milk and butter. Water was scarce and a frequent problem with the intermittent flooding of the creek. No one had water wells. Water barrels were at every house to catch rainwater. It was necessary to travel from the Coker settlement to San Pedro Springs to fill the water barrels. And on most mornings, the familiar rattle of cans and barrels could be heard as the wagons rumbled toward the spring. It was an all day round trip to San Pedro Springs. The women sometimes washed their clothes in the creek, but had to keep an eye out for Indians who were a threat in the area. The trip into San Antonio was also an all-day affair, being some six miles away. Life wasn't easy for the people of Coker Settlement. Rattlesnakes were a big problem. Constant guard was necessary to watch for Indians. Diseases and animal bites in the territory were common where the people had to be their own doctors. Their lives were not unlike the lives of pioneers who tamed Texas frontier, but they persevered. What a dynasty was established by the adventurer, settler, fighter, and cavalryman John Jack Coker and his family.